Thank you so much for joining me. Here we are gathered together in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, a lot of people are falling ill and this is a time of reflection. You know, it's a, it's a time of intensive uh, accounting, truly is really what it comes down to. Ones and zeros accounting and um, Passover season, passing over from death to life. You know, the Hebrews had to put the blood on the doorposts. They had to not only believe, but there was an act associated. They had to live out their faith. They put the blood on the doorposts. And only those who obeyed, the next morning they leave Egypt with their sons and their daughters in their hands, and their firstborn are with them. You know, it's not so much what we risk for ourselves, but are we willing to risk, you know, our inheritance? Are we willing to risk the lives of our loved ones? And that's where responsibility comes into play. And this is where we be, where, where we have the opportunity to walk out our faith. So this one is entitled God Knows because I wanted to share a poem that I received today and I was reminded of it. It's by Minnie Louise Haskins. And um, just before I get to it, you know, Charlie Chaplin said that life is a comedy in long shot, but oh, it's a tragedy close up. And a lot of times it comes down to perspective and how do we adjust our perspectives, right? So beautiful poems like this, the Lord has given men skill that we may glorify him. So here's Miss Minnie Louise Haskins poem called God Knows. And I said to the man who stood at the gate of a year, give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. So I went forth and finding the hand of God trod gladly into the night. And he led me towards the hills and the breaking of day in the lone east. So heart be still. What need our little life, our human life to know, if God hath comprehension? In all the dizzy strife of things both high and low, God hideth his intention. God knows his will is best. The stretch of years which wind ahead, so dim to our imperfect vision, are clear to God. Our fears are premature. In him all time hath full provision. Then rest until God moves to lift the veil from our impatient eyes, when as the sweeter features of life's stern face we hang, fair beyond all surmise, God's thought around his creatures, our mind shall fill. The Gate of the Year by Minnie Louise Haskins, or God Knows. I really, really appreciate that poem for multiple different reasons, and it seems as if each time this poem comes back to me and I read it again, I, I, you know, the Holy Spirit reveals something else to me. It was written definitely from a spirit of uh, praise and worship, and I acknowledge in, in almost like an angel's wing descending from on high, you know, the, the, the sweetness of God is revealed to be even more multifaceted than we can understand. I love what Miss Haskins is saying there that as a result of that sacrifice reunited with him, we can rest in and through all our circumstances because we know that he is the one who cares for us. And this allows us to focus on what's most important, loving our neighbor as ourselves, taking the moments that the Lord has given us, daring to walk out into the darkness, searching and finding and recognizing and placing our hand in God's hand. Beautiful. This is, this is the stuff of life. We let him lead us in and through these moments. And I think that's what the poem is really striking at. So because of the storms that are in my area today, I was very excited and I wanted to put this video together. And when I think of storms, I think of that a blinding blade. 
and reminded that atoms are split into the ones and zeros, the binary of reality, the veil is ripped into, and all the scriptures start flooding back his way as in whirlwind and storm, you know, as lightning is seen as far east from the west, so the son of man will be, all eyes will see him. And it's like a linchpin for success. We're supposed to face the cross. We're supposed to face Yeshua. You know, we take up our own cross, but we also look to the cross. And in that, we're purified and we are on the other side. We are there with him. We are in him. Anyhow, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I know it's kind of a late one, but um, I didn't want to let the day go without it. So I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe, hit that little alert bell so you can be notified of future updates, and I'll see you soon.